Yo, I'm on Sony Alpha Rumors, and uh, there is a new camera coming in March. What do y'all think it could be? Hmm, let's talk about it. What's up, y'all? Tight shirt, Terry Warfield, back for another video. Hope you're having a great day so far. Hey, you see the little hair flip I had to do right there? Hey, remember to be thankful for your life today because you did not have to have that. On with the meat potatoes. This says confirmed. Sony will announce a new camera in March, and it is not going to be the A9 III or the A7C II, but still something important. Hmm, what do we think that this could be? Now, I don't have this freaking camera. I have no clue what it is. So before y'all come in the comments, oh, Terry, no, I don't know what it is, okay? But I'm curious to know what you think it is. So take five seconds, go down there in the comments and let me know what you think that this camera could be. And subscribe while you're down there. One, two, three, four, five. Are you finished? Are you done? Okay, so this is what I think it is. And I have no proof of this, right? If I had to guess what this camera could be, I would say a successor to the Sony A6400, not the 66, the 6400, because it's time for an update. And we just had a new camera come out not too long ago. Hmm. Oh, it has an APS-C sensor, a new one. Oh, and it's got all these new video features and Sony's new autofocus and all these new software features, the Sony FX30. So could that possibly mean, since we have all these new parts and features in this camera and not everybody wanted a filmmaking camera, that we can possibly transplant some of that and put it into a A6000 or 7000 type body and keep a lot of those features in, give it to people at a respectable price point of maybe about 1200 bucks. Could that be a possibility? absolutely and that is what i think it is a a6400 successor with all of the new stuff from the fx30 but in an a6000 or 7000 style body now there's one other detail that further supports my suspicion and that is the fact that a new radio upon registration with this camera with the fcc was registered at 2.4 gigahertz now if this were some high-end camera i would think that it would be 2.4 or 5 gigahertz right so the fact that it says 2.4 gigahertz leads me to believe it is some type of a6000 type replacement now there's one other camera that it could be and i hope that it is and i'm probably wrong but i, I really want it to be this camera right now a lot of y'all don't know what this camera is and it's the sony rx1r mark too. If you have never heard of this camera, whoo, you are missing out. It is a relic and a lot of people are trying to get their hands on one to this day. It was a small RX style camera, so it was like a small point and shoot style camera, but it had a 42.4 megapixel full frame sensor in there, a 35 millimeter F2 Zeiss lens on there, and that's the biggest thing, full frame, and it still had autofocus and all the other stuff, but it needs an update. It's been out for quite a while and it's still like $3,000 strangely, but it needs an update. So could Sony be prepping for a successor to the RX1R. I always freaking mess this name up. Could it be a Mark III version? I would love to see it. And honestly, if it came out with the same sensor, they could keep the same sensor. Like I had this amazing low pass filter system on there and it produced great quality images. But if they gave us that with all of the updates, man, I would sell my kidneys to get that camera. So I hope that's what it is, but I'm not gonna get myself too hopeful because I really feel like it could be the A6400 successor. So short video today. I just want to know what y'all think about this new sony camera release that's coming and as i get more details i guess i will let y'all know and again i don't have one so i don't know what it is until next time i'm out of here peace of chicory tight shirt ted warfield peace talk to y'all soon